today we're going to configure some basic router security settings on an Aircom router, such as the wireless SSID and password, its DHCP settings, and the router password. This is basically just geared towards intermediate users, i.e. people who have some knowledge of computing terminology, or people who just know how an Aircom router works, or what it's capable of. There are a lot more advanced configurations that, can, that will be covered in a later video tutorial. Now to get started, you will need the following equipment. Your Aircom router and its power supply, a CAT5 or network cable, a DSL cable, and your PC or laptop. Now, first you plug in the power supply into your Aircom router. Then get your network cable, or your CAT5 cable, and plug it one end into your PC or laptop. Now get the other end and plug it into one of the four ports on the back of the Aircom router. It's marked by a yellow rectangle. You should hear them click in. It doesn't matter which port you use as they all do the same thing. Now put the DSL cable into the router and the other one into the telephone port on the wall. And finally turn on the router with the switch at the back. As it turns on you can see the lights come on flashing and once you get a solid green light you're in business and you should have internet access indicated by a flashing ethernet light which is indicating activity and if you don't see anything it's probably aircon's problem some things never change now providing you have everything plugged in properly we have to log into the router to do that we have to open up a web browser I use Mozilla everyone has their own preferences and at the top address bar clear it delete all the text from the address bar and type in as follows with no spaces 192.168.1.254 press enter and it should pop up if you don't see it pop up like this sometimes it says start up here click that and you should be in now from here to configure the settings we have to go into export mode so click export mode and click yes enter export mode and no you don't have to be an expert to do any of these configurations now click configure and here we have a few more settings basically we're concerned with what's in wireless and what's in advanced so firstly click on wireless now you should see the SSID which is basically just the name of the router that people can see when they try to connect wirelessly then it's the, the visibility which is enable it or disable it and the encryption key for this now we are going to use the advanced configuration options people think they're advanced but they're not as bad as you might say now for the SSID I always change it to something like Trojan or something like that because it's even a chance that people might think they might get a virus they won't even bother trying to click on there's no security setting but it's nice to have it there just to put people off uh, you have your enable wireless, you disable it or enable it, however you want to do it. Okay, and now what I'm more concerned with is the, basically the encryption password that you have here. Okay, for the encryption password, which is under privacy, this is the password, the encryption password, this is the level of encryption on your password. Now it's probably set to WPA standard, we don't want that. We want WPA or WPA2. For this, I'm going to use WPA PSK. PSK basically means pre shared key or a key that you type in yourself. Now, in here, we're going to put in uh, the pre shared key that if you want to connect wirelessly, you have to know this password. If you don't know this password, you won't be able to connect to it. I always choose something a bit obscure. For this, I'm going to use I am Ron Burgundy's dog using different letters such as capital letters, small letters, numbers and even the at symbol alright so as you can see no one's gonna guess that okay so we set it to WPA version 1 and 2 okay you don't have to be concerned with any of those settings click save changes do you want to restart the router now you can click yes okay uh, it says please wait don't have to worry about that I always just refresh it okay and click start now to go back in back into export mode yes enter in export mode bit repetitive but you gotta be patient click configure advanced now do the DHCP server settings basically the DHCP server settings is basically the IP of the router itself 
which means it's just an address the router has. So that's what you connect to when you try to log in. Okay? Now we're just going to change that to 69 or whatever you want. I just like to keep things a bit more amusing or something obscure that people won't think of. Now just change the start address to maybe something like 70 and the end address to 74 basically only giving five IPs out or five addresses meaning that only five people or equipment such as mobile devices laptops, PCs can connect to it. Any more than five they won't get on. Okay. Make sure that's ticked to enable DHCP server. Click save changes. Don't bother restarting this time. You don't need to. Now click on router password under advanced settings. Click router password. Basically the router password is what you have to know to be able to log on to the router to change any of the settings. So if you don't know this password they won't be able to get on. Okay, so use something obscure again. So I'm going to use the same password. And now I'm click enable admin login. Click save changes. Now it asks you for the password. The username is always going to be admin. And then the password is whatever you set it to. You can choose anything you want. I want to use the same password as it's just quicker for this tutorial. Click OK. Now it shows up the three options. Always click never for this site. You don't want to remember the password. That just defeats the whole purpose of it. To check everything is working, restart the router with the switch at the back of it. Close down the web browser. Reopen the web browser. As it opens up, it asks you for the password. Add DMIN. Type in your password. This is what you want to see. Now it says this, that's just auto detect, it's detecting if there's an internet connection. But because I'm just configuring it, it won't have one. So you go into your address setup. I set it up to 192.168.1.69 and click start. Check your export mode. Just to double check everything. Yes, into your export mode. Configure your wireless settings. There's Trojan. There's my password. Advanced. Your DHCP server settings, that's what we set up. Five people are allowed to connect. A router password, it won't show anything here because, of course, you had to know it to get in. So, what would be the point of showing it here? No point. Okay, and that's all you really need to know for this tutorial. And if you ever make a mistake, you can always just reset it at the back of the router using a pin or a needle. Thank you for listening to my first video tutorial, and I hope it was at least of some help to you. And if you want to restrict it even further, look out for my next tutorial, and we'll take it another step further. And remember that, if you don't like MacGyver, it's never too late to start. Thank you for listening, and happy configuring. You can leave a comment down the bottom if you like, and any feedback will be taken on board.